Just like any good apology video, I needed to start this with a sigh. Cause as it turns out, I was wrong. And I need to apologize and come clean. Throughout the course of this year, we've taken a look at a lot of great handheld consoles. Oh, some were OLED. Oh, some weren't. Today, however, we have a handheld console that might be my favorite. Kinda hoping you didn't rush out and buy any of the other ones. Because the good people at Lenovo sent over what I like to call the Switch Pro. Not sure if I can say that first word without it being bleeped out of the video because this video is sponsored by Lenovo. I was so excited to get one of these, I already had one pre-ordered at Best Buy and it came before the sponsored one. I'm still gonna make the video because I heckin' love this thing and I'm just gonna give this one away. If you wanna win one of these, and trust me, you're gonna want it, you have to be subscribed, you have to like the video, and leave a comment down below. I'm gonna pick someone totally at random. You're gonna get spammed down below by that stupid Telegram giveaway bot. If it's obviously not me, don't reply. If it's me, you'll know it's me. It'll be my account. <laughs> I did record me unboxing this guy though. When I got it at this point almost a month ago, it feels like. By the way, I was very sick. So it comes with a really nice case, just like the Steam Deck did. This thing is massive. Oh my God. This is huge. God, that is such a big screen. That is ridiculously big. Oh my God, they, they, they don't go up, they go down. Yeah, there's like a little bit of a... Okay, for as big as these are, they are quite light. I like that they have back buttons. What is this? Camera lens? It's gotta be a base for it or something, right? Oh, I got a big kickstand. Feels very familiar. Oh, there's a scroll on the back of this. I wonder if that's like a mouse scroll. Yo, that's kind of wild. Charge point at the bottom and the top. I like that. I like having the option. Oh, that's a nice, clean looking screen. Since then, I've had almost a whole month to play around with this bad boy. And I love it so much. Expandability, you can just shove an SD card in here, which I haven't done yet if you wanted to get more storage space. To me, this screams innovation. But more than that, it screams <laughs> And I'm gonna have to bleep that word out too, I assume, because this not only does something that that thing can do, and I'm gonna show it to you right now, but there's even more to it than that. With this thing, this magnetically connects to the right Joy-Con. And with a flip at the switch at the bottom of this thing, it turns it into a mouse. So now, if I wanna play any first person shooter, like Valorant, which typically you're not able to play with a controller, it doesn't have support. Now suddenly, I have a mouse on the freaking go. It has by far the largest screen. I mean, look at this guy. 8.8 .8 inches. Whoa! I could make a joke about the size of this guy, but I have a family-friendly channel. It's a QHD Plus display at 2,560 by 1,600. It also has the highest refresh rate of any of these consoles at 144 hertz. There's a trackpad here on the right that works like a mouse if you didn't want to use the actual mouse. And then of course, the removable nature of the whole thing and how they are to hold. They're very comfortable though. As big and clunky as they might appear. You got a D-pad on the left, you got your buttons on the right. Interestingly, the back buttons on the right are horizontal while the ones on the left are vertical. And then you have a normal trigger and shoulder button for the left controller, but the right one has a shoulder button that stretches all the way down across the side. There's even a scroll wheel over here, which I thought was in an interesting position and a little hard to get to. The reason for all of this is because when you turn it into the mouse that I talked about earlier, now you have left click and right click at a vertical angle and your thumb is able to access both of these horizontal buttons. It's so creative and it blows my mind that this button layout does really work no matter how you're holding the controller. By the way, love the kickstand. See, we've learned things from other people and it really is nice. Let's clip these back on and start talking about the games. As this is a Windows device, you have access to whatever you want 
The world is your oyster. I obviously immediately downloaded Steam, so just like that, I have a deck. But on top of that, I got the Epic Store, I downloaded Blizzard so I could try out the new Call of Duty on this thing, Genshin Impact, which has its own website you have to go through to get the game. And I was blown away by what this thing can do. Let me run you through everything I played, and it was a lot. And I had to try Cyberpunk, of course. This game notoriously is terribly optimized and runs really poorly on handheld consoles. Not this guy. It actually looks very impressive. And I was finally getting playable frame rates. I was staying above 30. And because it's a shooter game, I even got to try out the mouse on this one and it worked so well. I was amazed by how well this was running Cyberpunk. Genshin is, I mean, I just love that I can get it handheld and portable because it never released on the console that I would want it to. This game's obviously very well optimized and not too taxing. It's on mobile, but it's nice just to throw it on this thing and have it mapped to all the controls on its own and just get playing. Witcher was mind blowing because again on the whoopee console it's really ugly and I just can't play it there. I've never been able to, but here it is so bright and clear at Full resolution, it's absolutely mind blowing. I mean, if you wanna play around with some settings, you can easily get this thing at 60. GTA 5, full graphic settings, full resolution. It's gonna run it like a tank and you're gonna have 60 frames, no issues. So what about Red Dead 2? It's only been a year or two that we've been looking at these handheld PC consoles together. And I remember at first being blown away that I could even play Red Dead 2 on the go. And that's when it was 15 frames. I did a bench test on this guy and I was getting 40 frames at almost full resolution, constantly above 30, hitting up around 45. And this was at relatively high resolution, 1920. The only reason I had it any lower than full is because Red Dead 2 always does this weird thing on every handheld console I've tried it on, where it opens in a weird little boxed window in the corner, and I have to do some fiddling to get it full screen. And for this one, it was 1920. Easily my favorite experience on the Lenovo Legion Go so far is Lies of P. I don't know if this is the best well-optimized game ever, but at full resolution, it was perfect. No stutters, no frame dips, beautiful visuals, completely blown away by how this game looks and plays and how fun the game is. It's like Dark Souls, but with Pinocchio. It's so much fun. I highly recommend that game if you're gonna grab one of these. I played some Valorant on it. I had to use the mouse, but visually it's incredible. I was getting like 140 frames because of the Hertz being able to go that high, which I just couldn't believe I was getting that kind of frame rate out of a handheld console. Tales of Arise ran wonderfully. Ori looked beautiful on the big screen, but honestly, the biggest shocker out of all of them was Call of Duty. I mean, I'm just so used to Call of Duty's being optimized terribly. I remember trying to play Warzone on previous handheld consoles I've had in the past, and it was a nightmare. This works so well. And I was getting matches over Wi-Fi that were perfectly connected, played buttery smooth at full resolution. If you downscale it to about 800p, you can get 100 frames out of it. It truly is pretty remarkable. Also, it supports my AR glasses. You guys know the ones, I talk about them all the time. So I've been sitting in bed and playing this portably in my glasses. Also, Lenovo, I didn't know this. I found out right before filming this, they're coming out with their own AR glasses. And Lenovo, I need those. But the Legion Lenovo Go does have its own hub that you can bring up, which will store all your library of games that you download across all your apps. Like here, you can see all the ones that I've been talking about today. They even have their own game store in here. I really didn't mess around with this too much. That's my experience with the Lenovo Legion Go so far. Being able to throw anything at it and feel like I'm not compromising on visuals or frame rates. Feeling like I can play a game on my computer on my Xbox, and then whenever I'm done, throw the game and get the cloud save over here on my Lenovo Legion Go and play it in bed and not miss out on any of that experience. It really makes me look at cloud streaming on certain other things that we've got recently and just think, why? 
This thing is so powerful that if you really want it, it's not hard to just connect a keyboard, a mouse, and a monitor into it and use it as a small computer. If you can't afford to get both a handheld console and a home computer and wanna do both at once, hey, this is pretty affordable in that case. So this little wacky guy has certainly found a place in my heart and a place in my home. I've been playing it so much over the last month and I look forward to using it as a Game Pass device, as a everything device for me moving forward. All right, that's everything. If you wanna check out one of these, there'll be a link down in the description below. It also supports the channel. So click that link below. Grab one for yourself if you want one as a little Christmas present for you or if there's someone else you want to buy, if you really love someone else. Remember, subscribe, leave that comment down below and like the video. Thank you, uh, Lenovo Legion Go for sending this over, even though I already bought one that I'm giving away. Actually, it means a lot to me because I was gonna make this video anyway and I love this thing because it's everything I've ever wanted that other company to do. <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye.